almost there. Our diaspora home, room for rent, Airbnb with a view. You know how they say, um, don't tell people your dreams? I didn't, kept it to myself. I'm gonna tell you guys soon because it's almost fully accomplished. This was a remodel actually. It started flooding and the tenants couldn't live in it so by the time they moved out we decided to invest and uh, just remodel it, fix the problems and then turn it into a full summer vacation rental. So we'll let you guys know how it goes this summer. Mom did absolutely all, like she talked, they built. That's how it worked out here. We didn't pay an extra contractor. We didn't spend any money on blueprints or nothing. It was OG style, like I'll show you guys how they do the, the blueprints with just string and sticks. Doesn't sound like it's making sense, but string and sticks. Yeah, it makes sense. Oi, yeah. nowadays contractor on Ah, so so this is the non-contract way. This is cheaper for non-contract way. See, Grandma did all of this. And didn't use, you don't use contractors. She did the whole design herself. Like there's set so many rooms. She did it when she was a young girl. And now I'm a young girl. So I need to know how to do these things. What a mess. It's a mess because this happened, right? Maintenance happened. Oh, well, it was a good house. Well, let's get the 27 years old, this property. Oh. Older than Mansour, people. Older than Mansour. Who was here before Mansour? Yeah. And it's still solid. Yeah, show me this old ancient palm tree. So guys, here's the story from start to finish of how we started our Airbnb rental property and mostly a teaching episode because mom took on the role of renovating all of our grandparents' old properties and from there I'm learning so that I can also fill that position when the time comes. Our old properties aren't just here for us to live in and come for vacation. I think it's very important that we maintain the upkeep of our country and that's up to us, the new generation of diaspora. So I hope you're inspired by this video and for the most part, I hope you learned something. I'm still in the learning process. But between the Audi takeover and the many episodes of Fear Factor, it became a very fun mother-daughter project. Their most rewarding long-term impact. Okay. I did it. I finally started an Airbnb in Somaliland. I was on a WhatsApp call with my mom while I was in Canada and she was here. And I just said, hey, Hoyo, that old property that belonged to your grandfather, La Nahrisa, is it still something? Yeah, it's sunk into the ground, she said. It's totally sunken into the ground and needs renovation. So yeah, started an Airbnb in Somaliland and I'm so happy to show you guys how my mom dealt with renovations. So mom took on the full four manship of this household. She worked next to him. So she's the four woman for the four man. You see how, you see how I did there? Um, so she was standing on the grounds every single day, rebuilding. So what had happened is you can see the house, the walls have sunken in. And so really the house is flooding at this point. So I worked my butt off in Canada and put together enough to work on a renovation here. So mom came in, saw what was going on and she, instead of totally demolishing it from the ground up, she kept the standing walls 
which meant she had to raise the walls, but the whole internal layout was totally demolished and we started from scratch. So I got my dream Airbnb. We have a great day, we had a great day, we had a great day, we had a great day, and we had a great day, and we had a great day, and we had a great day. Dibu di sini, wahana ku terney Afrika Cur ayah nado show ku dalang ni, wahana sama ni si karis ku naga ya rada gurgi umpan. Entah sah cah curan ku terney koruk ini dah kadi hina way kapten dah kadi hina iya nado show korban law kade yang kalah lugu nado show haga sere law cerai. Dulki hose gudnan wal subuhi, mereka gurgi mereka dulka ayah lalu show ikisi awal dulku gu ku hose yo haga hose bal lugu dah dah ayah mereka tgali si. Who else goes grocery shopping and brick shopping? At the same time, only Shamis. <laughs> <laughs> Building a house and selling the stock and doing a farming all in once. That is the ultimate African hustle. Yeah? That is the shoes I have to fit. Shoes from other way, I can do it. I can do it. I guess I have to do it. If you can do it, I have to do it. Oh, it feels like an earthquake back there, Hoy. Yes, please. Arisko, I know you can do it. Yeah, we will be going to Kukata. Going to one place, so I have to go to Kanten Chachura and Kukata. وحول بالله بعد سيبرها عاد تجاجرة عاد تانجي عاد اللوحة عاد وحول ب أو كونستراكشن كي يجوا وبيها هي قارجة يانكو قاتا حلقة سعيا حقرش كني أنك غير يا حاجة قرش And the other guy, the police guy said, Garigan bored me, I said, go get a car wash, lady. There's no time for car wash. Wahan I didn't say, yeah, I'll come to the hospital. 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 Cinga tu mar kalau saro. Kalau perlu bayar mar esok guru kalau perlu. Hei, wahai diman, gufenti, telbisti, mar marki, dah kadih, suliadi. Allah ya, segera bawa perhenti. Perjalanan kan? Perjalanan kan? Perjalanan kan? Tuah bersenang esam ba. Kau ini ko amak kelet tegi, amai amak kuit gerai ba kelet tegi esam. Kau ada tukar leh dah ada kelet tegi. Perlu mar esok mar cinga tu mar esok. So at this point, it comes down to the tile and ceiling roofing selection. And there's something you really have to think about here when it comes to functionality over fashion. Essentially, you're going to really want to pick a tile that's not the prettiest, but it will do the trick when it comes to Somalian households. As soon as you mop the floor, these tiles are so slippery. So you want to think about that. The tiles we ended up selecting are just these basic ones that have grip so that anyone from elderly to young kids can stay in this residence without worrying. Marka ad mar mar doran iso had doran in kuwa dalal kale sida kuwa no kale lugu silbana yo wa lugu silbada dad badan ba ku chabay wili ba marka ud wayel kula chugu wa quruh da ha ur raa'in wa haad raa'a da kuwa un un kale marka ad taabetid ba ka anta ado ku ha ha kana yo kuwa ya nan slip ha lugu kufayni Okay, so now we're at the finishing part of our place. And 
Yes, you can say, this does not look done. That, that little dot is gonna drive me crazy. Which one? Up, that's up, up my up. That's, oh. I'm gonna be getting rid of all this disgusting. Why do they do that as well? Okay, tell me the money if this is left for you to fix, by the way. When you get your house built, this is your job to clean. There's a point that you get to here in Somaliland when you start building. If you're working with non-contracted companies, this is the exact problem you're going to run into. And mom just gave me the most humblest way to think about it. Do it yourself. They, you know, they left this behind or they forgot to do this or this is left unfinished. All those things. What uh, could You will be exhausted trying to explain to the person what they left behind if they think that they're done. So that's where the whole do-it-yourself mentality comes in. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so it's more like think of it like taking out the anger you would have unleashed on that poor person who thinks that they completed their job. You're just gonna channel it into your own fixing your own home, pretty much. <laughs> It's quite therapeutic to do it yourself. So here's the rest of the interior fix-ups before the place is ready to be released. But now the little things that need fixing like how hideous this door is. The toilet, the exterior toilet, not the real toilet, but the exterior toilet needs some fixing. There's another toilet is what I'm saying. People don't freak out. And the front door, another hideous area. This door needs some work too. Um, what did we want to do? We wanted to change the lock as well. So the next part of this video is us adding all our finishing touches. And this, guys, is the moment that I realized the job was complete. It's ready for renting. I can release it to the world. We got cable now. Check it out. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about my favorite mini project that was going on amongst all the million DIY projects. So I got a local street artist, one of my favorite guys, Gene Arts, to do a mural on the wall for me that would represent everything about this home and me doing a wall mural for us. I'm thinking I want it here. The space is very tiny, so it might be a bit overwhelming. Or option two here, but that window's in the way. I kind of wanted it all across. Love art. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him to do like a, the, a, the globe, a mural of the globe and you know, just add his own characteristics in. Mom and I were up all night searching different things to show him. She thinks that I need to show him what I want exactly, just like you take something to a tailor, but I think it's different. The creative mind, an artist can like put two and two together and make their own amazing thing. So we'll see how this conversation goes. She says, no, do it the African way, which is show them a copy, an example, and they will copy. But I think an artist is an artist anywhere and I can show him I can tell him my idea and he can translate it into art. Yeah? You with me? Okay, let's see. It's halfway, three quarter. Of course, you can see exactly where the airplane is departing from, where it's landed to, and, and all the love I have for the African nation. Wow. So funny, what did I do? I got a bar and I got a salsa. How's this? How's this? I am, I got a bar. What's going on? So we also have internet, but it's in the form of a pocket Wi-Fi that you can take around with you. We find that that's more convenient. And when people aren't renting my property, I use the pocket Wi-Fi. You see how I'm cutting corners there and pinching pennies? It's just everything I've learned from all my travels in Airbnbs, I'm able to apply to this house. This house, this property, this diaspora home, all came from the idea of wanting these little inevities that I love and need. And I thought maybe some people are gonna want these things. And all these like little necessities that I thought that someone traveling might want. Like say for example, you come and you wanna visit the land, but you don't entirely wanna live with your family. No offense to nobody's family, but you know the feeling, you wanna go visit them, but you wanna have your own space too. And oh, often enough, the family that you come to visit, you've never known them before. So you don't wanna just live on top of them. 
Dunoli hai balirada. So it's kind of like an exact translation. So I thought maybe this there might be a market, there might be a target, there might be few individuals who want this. And oh my god, I'm so over the moon. Happy I'm at like six months worth of it's been rented. So I'm happy to speak upon it and I'm so excited to share with you guys. Just in case this might be something that inspires you that you want to do. But the building process, I promise you, was not easy. <laughs> It didn't take a long time, but it did grow a few gray hairs. If this is something that you guys think, okay, yeah, this is the spot. This is what I've been looking for. If you're looking to book for a month or two or however you feel, check out the link below. You can have the uh, comforts of your own diaspora living in my diaspora home. For more exclusive vlogs on how to start building your dream home in the motherland, join us on our Patreon community where we share all little insider tips that we've learned over our time spent in the motherland.